Hey everyone, back again with another Flutter tutorial. And today's session, we will look into how to build a recipe creator app with the help of Flutter and OpenAI. And what we have here is a simple example of the same. We have a basic set of UI layouts containing the input field or the text form field technically, and an elevator button called the create recipe right at the bottom. And how this app works is basically you need to list down all the ingredients what you have for the recipe. Say for example, if you have oil, if you have rice or masala, you just need to list down all the ingredients. And you can also make use of this add icon to keep on adding ingredients to the list. Once you have listed down all the ingredients what you have currently, you can make use of this create recipe button. And upon clicking this, it will create a recipe out of the list of ingredients what you have given as the input to the AI model. So the pre-trained AI model is capable enough to create a recipe instantly based upon the ingredients what you have listed down. Let me also show you a live example of how it works. So say for example, let me list down basic ingredients as an example. Let me make use of rice, masala, chicken, oil and potatoes, maybe egg. Alright, so I have listed down a basic set of uh, ingredients what I have and let me click this create recipe button and let's see how this AI model is able to create a recipe out of it. And as you can see here, based upon the ingredients what I have listed down, it is providing us that we will be able to create the masala chicken fried rice out of these ingredients. And it has also listed down the instructions to create the same. So, totally it has provided us with 9 steps of instructions for creating this masala chicken fried rice. Alright. Let me try it out with another simple example. Let me list down bread, butter, milk and jam. Let's see how this AI model is able to create a recipe from this list. Yeah, so this AI model is suggesting us to create a toast with jam. And um, it has also provided the ingredients what, which is needed for creating this recipe and also the instructions for preparing the same. Right, so this is basically how this app is going to work. Right, you can also make use of this close icon buttons to remove any items in the list you don't want to add. So this is basically how this recipe creator app is going to work. Hope you got a broader idea of what we are about to discuss in this video. With this idea and without any further delay, let's directly dive into the video and get started. Basically before getting into the video, if you are new to this channel, I recommend you to go check out previous video of how to integrate Flutter app and ChatGPT. Because in this previous video, we have discussed about how to make use of OpenAI APIs in our Flutter app. And in this video also, we will be trying to use the same kind of technique to get the job done. And that's the reason I suggest you to go check the previous video, only then you will get a continuous idea of how to make use of OpenAI APIs in our Flutter app. And in this video, to keep it simple, we have a basic set of UI layers and we make use of the same HTTP API call request to get the job done. Alright, starting with the main.adfair, what we have here is a generated routes. We have made use of generated routes for navigation. And here inside the generated route, the initial route points to the home page. As you can see, the initial route directly points to the home page. And here the home page is nothing but a stateful widget class. So basically, we have empty scaffold. Now let's start building up the UIs. First, let's try to create few basic variables, including the text form field, the focus node, and the input tag list. So this contains the list of all ingredients what we enter in the text form field. And finally, the response, which is the data which the AA model has provided us as a response. And since we are making use of text editing controller, let's try to initialize them in the init state, and also we'll try to dispose them in the dispose state. Starting with the scaffold, inside the safe area, let's make use of the column widget wherein first child is going to be a simple text widget followed by a few spacing, we try to build up the text form field as well as the add icon button. So here in the text form field with the basic set of decoration, here inside the on field submitted callback, we will try to add the ingredients in the list. Following the text form field, let's try to build up the icon button. And we try to do the same here inside the on press event. We try to add the item in the list and also we will try to turn the focus back to the text form field itself. Followed by the text form field, let's try to render the ingredients for the user has type. For that, let's make use of the wrap widget and inside which we have the chip widget which is available in the Flutter SDK. So with the help of which we will be able to list down all the ingredients which the user types over here in the text form field. Say for example, if I type water, it will just list, get listed down here in the form of a chip widget. And in order to add the delete button, let's make use of the 
on delete and whenever you click this delete button we would try to remove them from the list and followed by which we try to make use of the single child scroll view to render the response data was the AI model has provided as a result of the API call for that we make use of the expanded widget and try to wrap them into the single child scroll view and finally at the bottom we try to have a primary button which is nothing but the elevator button technically and inside the button function we try to call the ask AI method by passing the input tags which is nothing but the list of all ingredients what the user has listed down so this is basically the entire set of UA what we have now let's try to define this ask AI model wherein we try to make a API call directly to the open AI API and this ask AI method is written down separately inside this home page repo file and inside this ask AI method let's make use of the post method and call the same API which is nothing but the completion API which we already discussed in the previous video as well we just need to alter the prompt in such a way to get the desired set of output followed by the API URL we need to pass the headers and finally inside the body we make use of the C 3 model just the same what we already discussed in the previous video and the prompt is nothing but the list of all ingredients which the user has typed over here in the input field and in order to create a recipe out of these ingredients you just need to add this text in your prompt before the ingredients so with this prompt the AI model will understand that it needs to create a recipe out of these listed ingredients followed by the prompt you can configure the AI model with, by the max token temperature so on and so forth and finally we need to return the response as a result of the API call. So this is all about um, making an API call and we try to call this ask AI method upon the on press event of this create recipe button. So with this we complete setting up the UI and the logic. Let's restart the app and see how it works. Let me give the egg, oil and water. Just keep it simple. If I click this create recipe button, it is able to create a recipe out of these three ingredients alone. It just suggests me to create a fried egg out of these ingredients. So this is basically how you can build a recipe creator app out of Flutter and OpenAI APIs. So you just need to alter the prompt in such a way to get the desired kind of output from the OpenAI API. Alright, hope you find this video insightful. If you do so, consider subscribing and I will see you again in the next one.